Ad Astra Abyssop. Halt! Citizens, what noble errand brings you? Is Kaya here? We need him for something. Captain Kaya? He's on duty in Jean's office. Huh? Why is he in Jean's office? The Windbloom Festival celebrations have always been hosted by the Knights of Favonius. During the festivities, Master Jean personally goes out on patrol. Captain Kaya takes over her administrative duties during that period. You're here! I was just thinking about you two. And now, here you are. Kaya, did you do your homework? I'm afraid I must disappoint you. I haven't even started writing it yet. Hmm, students that don't hand in their homework on time aren't exactly model students now, are they? And what excuse does Kaya have for not handing in his homework? Well, as you can see, I'm helping Master Jean take care of various matters. Mondstadt is a hive of activity over the festive period. Accordingly, there's a multitude of things that need sorting. Traveler, can I ask for a favor? I have a drinking buddy that wants me to help him with something, but I'm much too busy. Can I entrust this matter to you? A drinking buddy? A friend you met at the tavern? That's right. I often go to the tavern when not on duty. Somehow, I seem to have made quite a few acquaintances that way. His name is Nimrod. He's never far from the tavern. He should be free right now. Thanks for the help. I'd better stay behind and get started on my homework. Feel free to take your time. I need to channel my inner poet. should I do? You must be Dimrod. Kaya mentioned there was something you wanted him to take care of. He's busy right now, but we can help. Uh, huh? Oh, Traveler. I didn't realize it was you. Uh, it's like this. I'm planning to give a gift to my wife for the Windbloom Festival, and I wanted my drinking buddy Kaya to come up with a gift idea. Uh, I... I'm afraid I'm a 
bit of a drunkard. I'm nearly always in the tavern. My wife hates me drinking, so we're constantly arguing. Another day, another drunkard. I can empathize. <laughs> I don't mind a drink or two myself. Then again, and I'm not one to judge, but by the looks of your drinking habits... Hmm. I know she's right, of course. I feel like I have to make it up to her. Uh, traveler, can you help me gather some materials? I want to make a gift for her myself. Uh, I should have made preparations in advance, but I've barely been sober these last few days. I fell asleep, and when I woke up, the celebrations had already begun. No Yeesh, this guy is a mess! Ugh, single folks in Mondstadt would never dare get others to help them during the festive period. It's lucky you're already married, Nimrod. Uh-huh. You're telling me. Uh, I'm uh, sorry. Here I am making a fool of myself in front of all of you. Ah, uh, what's done is done. Spit it out then, how can we help? I'm going to look for wood in the city. And we'll need plants to place inside. Those only grow in the wild. Could I ask you to retrieve them? I need two stems of small lampgrass. Small lampgrass and wood? What are you making exactly? I want to make her a little wooden house with glowing flowers and uh, handmade furniture inside. Aw, such a thoughtful gift. A token of my love. <laughs> Back when I'd only just gotten to know her, I used to make handmade gifts for her all the time. <sighs> she loved them. She even used to say that it was... Uh, uh, oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's put the past aside for the moment. <sighs> Thank you all for your help. Lucky you came across such kind-hearted assistance, hmm? All right, let's go and find those materials. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. With these materials, I can get to work straight away. Remember, a gift can't solve everything. You need to start being fair to your wife, too. I will. I will. Uh, I do hope she likes my gift, though. Everyone likes a gift given with love. Don't worry. Make it a good one. Don't go wasting those materials. They weren't easy to find, you know. Jewels for the Leeway. Come take a look. <laughs> Time to hand in your homework! Welcome back. I'm just finishing up. Go, go, go! Hand it in, hand it in! All right, all right. Now then, no hurting my feelings. Hmm... Hmm? Tone Deaf Bard, what grade did he get? Kaya, may I read this out loud? Feel free. <clears throat> Me, Maluya. Means I love you. In the language of the hilly churls. Eh? Huh? That's it. That's it? Coherent and to the point. Plus, the length seems about right. 
What? Are you writing a hilly churly in phrase book? <laughs> a love poem has to convey the style of its author, you know? I'm not sure you took the exercise seriously. Wait! So we're just gonna gloss over the fact that Kaya can speak hilly churlian? Weird! <laughs> Don't underestimate the hidden knowledge of the Knights of Favonius Cavalry Captain. All right then, time to collect the next student's homework. Huh? I just caught sight of a suspicious figure. I must go and investigate. Traveler, I have another small task for you. The church has applied to us for a hunting license. Please take these official documents to the cathedral. <sighs> Running errands again. Lisa, we need to establish some ground rules. <sighs> if we do end up apprehending any drunken troublemakers, no electrocutions, okay? Oh, Jean, you misunderstand me. That intoxicated fellow you witnessed last time was practically begging me to be shocked. It makes me wonder if some people don't actually quite enjoy getting... Lisa? <sighs> Very well, then. If you insist. Dean! Lisa! Greetings, ladies. <laughs> it's been a while. A while indeed. <sighs> As you can see, Lisa and I are on duty. Aw, it's Cutie and friends. Uh, did you see any suspicious people on the way here? If you do see anything, report straight to the Knights. Since when do librarians go out on patrol? Rarely, but this is the Windbloom Festival, and they need all hands on deck. Even the humble clerical staff like me. Lisa, humble clerical staff do not wield Electro the way you do. <sighs> Please do not be alarmed. I will keep my eyes on Lisa, especially since she seems to enjoy electrocuting people just to break up a scuffle, not to mention shocking drunkards until they beg for mercy. If you don't like it, I can happily refrain. Is that a promise? Good. Otherwise, I'm going to have to reconsider whether I want a librarian on patrol with me. Hyman never knew being on patrol could be so exciting! came back from the wilderness. As usual, I came by the cathedral to ask the sisters to patch me up. That's when I saw Barbara running out, white as a sheet. She was holding a letter. I've never received a letter like this before. Can I take a look? Hmm. Dear Barbara, I've stolen the thing most precious to you and buried it. 
Huh. Could this be an attempted intimidation? It's awful. Is it a joke? If so, we don't need to worry. But... But... What if it's real? <laughs> There's a map on the back. Isn't that out in the wilderness? Hmm... The thing most precious to you. Hmm... Buried... Huh... That location on the map is familiar. I've definitely been there before. I can't think straight right now. Nothing makes sense. It's coming to me... It's coming to me... The thing most precious to me... Wait... Could it be... Barbara! Hey! Slow down! Aha! I got it! The Thousand Winds Temple! Uh, Bennett! Hey! Why are they in such a hurry? Let's catch up with them. Slow down. Rosaria! I just... I... Calm down. I ran into Jean a moment ago. Lisa was with her. She's fine. Oh. Really? Are, are you sure? <sighs> hmm. That letter. Give it to me. Sure. Talking about Jean in the letter, then what are they talking about? Did you really think they buried Jean underground? What a horrible thought! So, sister, have you found any leads? Looking at the map, the perpetrator seems to have marked out an area around Dawn Winery. That's open land, so hiding something there. Hmm. What could it be? Nice work! How'd you figure that out so quickly? Although, Don Winery? That's not the place we were thinking. Oh. Barbara, rather than letting your imagination get the better of you, stand up and face this head on. You're right. It's just... <laughs> it's a little scary, right? That's why we're going with you. <gasps> oh. that, that's very kind. And you, sister? Will you be accompanying us? No need. I knew straight away there was nothing to worry about. Huh? What does that mean? <sighs> nothing. Get going, then. Barbara, are you feeling a bit better now? Mm-hmm. I... <sighs> I'm okay. Rosaria's right. Better to know the ways of the enemy than stand here scaring myself. That's right! Let's get moving! Thank you, all of you. Let's get to the location and see what we find. Yep, yep! Go, Barbara, go! here.
What is this? Hmm. Quick, let's open it. I... I... Oh, interesting. Such an exquisite gift box. What's it doing out here in the wilderness? Oh! Wow, what a beautiful wind wheel aster wreath. And so many paper stars. Hmm. Looks like our perpetrator is really just one of Barbara's fans. There's a note. What does it say? Hmm, let's... So sorry to get your attention this way. Please accept this wind bloom as a sign of my sincere admiration for your virtue and sweetness. Huh. So it's... fraudulent intimidation, then? Be it for the gods or that special someone, flowers should be offered in utmost sincerity. It's the most important ceremony of the Windbloom Festival. Flowers of love and blessings sent on such a special occasion. No effort should be spared to make it spectacular. Behind the questionable methodology, here we have a meticulously thought out and heartfelt gift. Huh. Laying it on a little thick, aren't we? Still seems like someone with a few screws loose to Paimon. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I think I have a suspect in mind who fits that description. Who? Who? Shh. No telling now. <laughs> I'd like Paimon to make a few guesses. Ah, you're so annoying! <laughs> <laughs>